Hello everyone, and today I have another Star Wars The Black Series figure review for you. Um, this is from the three and three quarter inch line in the newest wave, I believe. The last wave I, uh, with the orange highlights, I think. So this is number 29. It is Wedge Antilles. I do not have a wedge, so I am very happy to... Do I? No, I don't have a wedge. So I am very happy to uh, get this figure. I also collect X-Wing pilots and Y-Wing pilots and any all of the Rebel Alliance pilots. So he is a good addition uh, to that like uh, faction of my Star Wars collection. So again, we have just the simple black, uh, black and orange card back with a picture of Wedge there, and then the picture of a snow speeder tripping the ATAT. So this is a figure from Wedge on Hoth. We don't. So I guess this is technically he's he, this is his snow speeder outfit, not necessarily his X-wing pilot outfit, but nonetheless, I still have several of these guys. So. Anyways, here he is. I think just uh, from looking at him, there, where, there. Just looking at him without any detail or, you know, uh, really going in depth with his uh, design, I think he looks like a very good figure. He has all the right pieces and all the right places, and he does come with two guns as well as a removable helmet. So definitely uh, he looks nice on the card for sure. So uh, we'll go into detail a little bit with his accessories first, and then I'll review the figure. So he does come with this uh, blaster that comes with a uh, arm sling. What is this called? A strap. There we go. Um, I get tripped up on words so easily sometimes. Anyways, he comes with this uh, rifle that has a strap, and it looks really like a modern day rifle I think more so than a Star Wars rifle but it's very cool I do like the fact that they when they include straps on guns because then it just gives it another world of possibility um and then he also comes with a small blaster pistol nothing we haven't seen before uh some of these x-wing pilots do have holsters on their belts it's usually the x-wing pilots not necessarily snow speeder pilots but I do appreciate when they do that uh so that you can put the you know the blaster in there and then lastly we do have his helmet which I'm sure most of most of you guys recognize with the green and gray white accents so there's that looks good looks good so here's a figure himself and there are some variations between him and the X-Wing version uh, mostly you can the, the gloves are gonna be a big part and then the boots as well as the, like the little head warmer cap beanie yeah so you see these in 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 episode five and i like how they've sculpted his hair on the front to come out it's a very nice looking figure and it honestly uh his face is very very well done i think he he resembles wedge i mean it could it be perfect you know better yes of course it can always be better <laughs> but i think they didn't you know they've definitely they've done worse let's just say that um and then he's kind of got that like inflatable neck collar that's so famous on these orange suits and then just his gadget get gadgets and gizmos and he's got his belt which doesn't have a hook for the knife or for the belt for the gun for the knife um one really big complaint is that both of his hands are lightsaber hands as you can tell they are designed to hold the barrel of a lightsaber so why on earth would hasbro put a lightsaber would would give him lightsaber hands he doesn't even have a lightsaber um this, that is very disturbing it also inhibits him holding his gun he can't hold his gun very well at all he also can't aim it which is annoying um i do like the kind of coat that that comes with the snow speeder pilots like right there there's the end of the coat and then the interesting little boots that come with that so that's basically wedge um he does have a really good amount of articulation ball jointed head shoulders uh uh ball no yeah ball hinged elbows swivel wrists well swivel forearms um ball hinged torso uh swivel hips ball hinged knees and ankles so he does have a really good um amount of articulation on him Though I was disappointed when looking at the bottom of their foot because I always look to see what day they were um, 
when they were cast, and this is a 2009 um, Wedge and Um I do not have this figure, obviously. So I, it, like, it's they they've done several repacks in, in this line before, and if I had had him, I wouldn't have gotten him again. But I did not have him, and he's a good figure overall. I think, uh, other than him being a repack, which is annoying, it only is okay for me because I don't have it. Um, and then his stupid lightsaber hands. Those are the only, those are the two, two complaints with this guy. Other than that, I think he came with a good amount of accessories for a pilot and his sculpting and paint apps are really, really dead on as well as the articulation. Um, so there's him. I don't know if I'm going to pick up any more in this wave. Um, I've kind of gotten all that I want. Uh, we'll see. It just, it might come down to if I want to review something else. Um, but that's basically this review. Um, lastly, guys, I want to let y'all know um, to go subscribe to somebody who has um, started making videos on his channel. He's really big on uh, Instagram, but um, his channel name is 9613tman, and he is a really funny guy. He does lots of customs on Instagram, which is really, really cool, and he actually just posted the 6-inch uh, Darth, Black Series Darth Vader review, uh, which I definitely go, yeah, if I were y'all, I'd go check it out, because there aren't too many up yet, because he's kind of still hard to find. Um, anyways, it's a really good review, and um, go subscribe to him so that he'll put up more videos, because um, he's definitely worth looking at, guys. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in my um, info about box, you know, down below the video. Um, so basically, that'll conclude this video, guys. And stay tuned for more. I still have to do show you guys the up-close versions of the uh, figures that I painted, as well as the Kudabakaya astromech droid that I picked up in my last haul video. Um, so definitely keep your eyeballs open. I'll have some videos up soon. Oh, also, this Friday is Dallas Comic Con, so we're going to have some more stuff up too, which is going to be super exciting. Um, anyways, guys, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, as always. Bye.